fraction. We out. I'm out. Hey. 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 Whoa. Whoa. I'm out. Let's come here, man. So now we want to convey this repeating decimal to fraction. Repeating decimal to fraction. Okay, cool. Let's go. So this is easy. So what you do, for example, let me start for a face on solution. So now I'm going to let any letter, let's say let x equal to 3.142 or 3 dot. So you know what you do, whenever you change this stuff to, uh, to fraction, look here, you don't need anything. Okay, everything is in decimal, right? How many decimal? Three. So I'm going to multiply by 1,000, left and right. So multiply by 1,000 because there are three decimal repeating. So 1,000 x. And then I'm going to multiply this uh, by 1,000. When you multiply by 1,000, this is going to come here. Know what I'm saying? So it's going to become 3, 1, 4, 2, point. But remember this is repeating. You know why? what that means? Because when they say, say 1.9, means this means like 1.999. 9, 9. That's why they say it's 1.9 repeating decimal. So if I'm gonna find 1,000, this stuff is gonna to go to the left. But remember, this repeating is still gonna be here. Oh, excuse me, sorry, there's no dot here. Like, so even though this is gonna move here, but we're still gonna have one, four, two. It's still repeating. Oh, so the next step, so this stuff came here. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take second question. Let's call this second. And this let's call face. So take second minus face. So I'm going to say 1,000, 1, 2, 3, x, minus x, and then this side here, I'm going to take 3, 1, 4, 2, uh, 1, 4, 2, minus 3, 1, 4, 2. Okay, so when you minus, you get 9, 9, 9, x, and this side of your minus, you get 0, okay. 12, bottom one is going to be 9, it's going to be 12. 12 minus 3 equal 2, it's going to be 3, 1. So now we want to get the value of x, it's divided by 9, 9, 9, 9. So our x equal to 3, 1, 3, 9, divided by 9, 9, 9. So this is improper. So if they say, leave the final answer in proper fraction, you leave like that. But if you say uh, in mixed fraction, so I'm going to say, uh, divide by 9, 9, 9. Okay. Okay. Oh, excuse me, so, so. 3, 1, 3, 9, divided by 9, 9, 9. Okay, so we get 3, 1, 4, 2. Okay, at any day, you can just change to mix a fraction. I know you know how to change mix fraction, but sometimes, most of the time, they ask for improper fraction. But it's all depending on how they go ask you. Okay, now let's go to question number 2. So, question number 2 is kind of tricky, not like the first one, because see this number here? It doesn't have a repeating decimal. So, now, how are we going to face this? It's easy. Let me just show you how, how you can face this. I'll go speed now because you got an idea how we solve this. So when you start to solve this stuff, you don't need anything with no decimal, with no repeating on the right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't need anything with no repeating on the right. So now if I look careful, okay, right. let me say n, let me let it can be n letter there. So let's say now let's n, n equal to 0 0.725. See, so there's a problem here. So there's a one decimal place. I don't need this number. This number must go to the left face. So before you multiply by 1,000, you have to get rid of this, the one with no repeating. So it means it's one decimal, it's like a one step. So if it's one step, multiply by 10. So I'm gonna multiply by 10, it's gonna be 10 n, and the multiply by 10, this is gonna move to the left. It's gonna be seven, point what, point seven, two, uh, excuse me, no seven, because it may move to the left. So it's like two, five. You know what I'm saying? And then now it's like we went to the first step of the face equation. So let's call this face equation. Let's call this face equation. So after that, now we're gonna do like how we did before. You know what I'm saying? Because when you say this, this is like, uh, because you wanna say like this is like 7.2525, like only repeating here on the right hand side. So now for that case now, now I'm gonna do like a previous step. I'll multiply by 100 because everything must move to the left. So this gonna be 100. And, and here, it's gonna be equal to Bring here, it's going to be 7, 2, 5, but a 2, 5 is still repeating here. It's like 25, 25, 25, 25. So let's call this second equation. So now what we're going to do now, take second minus this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say, oh, 100n minus 10n, which is going to give us 99. And now you get 7, 2, 5, 0.25 minus 7, 0.25. Okay, 
This will give you zero now. Oh, this is gonna give you 18. It's gonna be 18 because we bought a one here. Eight and this is one, seven. And this is gonna be 90 and. So what we're gonna do? Take divide by 90 throughout. You know what I mean? Divide by 90 throughout. So divide by 90 over 90. So n equal to 7, 180 over 90. In improper fraction. For most kids, they ask for improper, but if you want to change it to mixed, uh, you know, times 7. You know what I'm saying? So you can change that one to mixed just in case you want to change. You say, how many 97, 1, 8? You know what I'm saying? Now, let me start. 90. If how many 97 is going to be a thing by 7. Okay, by 7. Okay, 90 times, uh, 9 times 7, should be 7, okay, 6, okay, let's try by 8, by 8, no, it's too big, so it's going to be by 7, by 7, by 7 is going to be, okay, so if you want to change to mix, it's going to be, this is going to be 7, okay, and then you take 7, 1, 4, 7, 1, 80, minus the answer, 1, 80, minus the answer, 88, so this is going to be 8080, 8080 over 90, and then you can simplify by 2, it's going to be 44 by 245. So this, if you want to change to mix, but for the most case, they always ask for improper fraction. So let's go to mix. Now let's go for the third one. So the third one is the same kind of tricky. We don't need this one face. You know, so we don't need that one face. So, man, this stuff is easy, man. Very, very easy, baby. Okay, cool. Now. Question number three, this is very, very challenging, question number three. So they give you, let, let's say let Trana equal to 0, 0,36, how many decimal? Uh, only one decimal. So now, this has to go, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not a pity, it must go to the left. So since it's one number, which you remove, you must multiply by 10. So multiply by 10, this could going to be 10M on the both sides, left and right. Multiply M times 10, 10M. Multiply this by 10, this is going to move here, it's going to come 3.6. So now there's something I want to show you here, it's very, very important. I want to make sense of something. If I know what I want to do. Take this minus that. You know? So say this minus that is going to be, uh, uh, it's going to be 9m equal, take that one minus, okay. 3.6 minus 0, 0,36. And you get uh, 324. Uh, 3,6, because this is two decimal place, right? Also, let's put here two decimal place. Even though you know 3.66 came, uh, 3 came here, but I remember it's repeating, so I can even write 2 if I want. Because it's repeating. So now I'm going to say minus this, so I'm going to say uh, 3.66, it's going to make, make, make more, a lot of sense. So here we're going to get 3.3. It's tag this, second equation, minus first equation, so 3.3. So when you reach here, you know, you don't want to deal with the decimal because you want to change something to fraction. So for me to change to fraction, I'm gonna rather multiply both sides by 10 so I can get rid of this. Excuse me, sorry. So multiply by 10 and here multiply by 10. So this is gonna become 90m equal to multiply by 10 is gonna be 33. So I'm gonna get the value of m, divide by 90, divide by 90. So my m equal by three is gonna be 11, by three is gonna be 30, so 11 over 30. And if you put the calculator, it's gonna give you this answer here. You know what I'm saying? So a six is gonna be repeating constantly. Let's go, 11 divided by 30. Put in the calculator here. See, 6 is like constantly repeating. You get 0 0.66667, you can even put in the calculator. So this is this is kind of thing you might face sometimes. Now, let's go question number 4. I'll go faster, no, this is easy. So I feel like three is tricky. Three and question six is kind of tricky. Okay, cool. Question number four, let um, Trana or M, whatever, equal to zero comma six three, six three, two decimal. So first and foremost, I don't need this. How many decimal two? Multiply to the left, it's gonna be, since the two, it's gonna be 100. Means multiply here by 100 on the left, it's gonna be 100 M, and this multiply by 100, this is gonna move to the left. It's gonna be six three, point, and then six three. You know what I'm saying? And the next step, oh, all right, I got it. So now we can subtract, subtract this. So this minus this, so 100 M minus one M, and this minus this, it's gonna be 63.63 minus 0 0.63 and 63. 
So remember, this 63 means even here, this 6 3 also. You know, so let's subtract now. Minus this will be 99M. Now, this is going to be uh, 63 only. 63. So divided by, so 99M equal to 63. Divided by 99, divided by 99. This is this concept. So M equal to, by 3 is going to be 21, by 3 is going to be 33, by 3 is going to be 7, by 3 is going to be 11. 7 over 11. And when you finish, take a calculator and see if it's true. You know what I'm saying? Take 7, divide by 11, and see if it's going to give you 63, 63, 63. Repeat it. Yeah, it's true. See this? I don't know if you can see that. So you take a number and put in the calculator. If it's wrong, it means you made something wrong. So now we go to question number, uh, question number 5. Same approach. So question five. Okay, let's say let y equal to zero comma five seven three. How? Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now? We we'll say all right. So I'm gonna multiply by fifty three to fifth uh, by hundred to move fifty seven. It's gonna be a hundred y equal to. This is gonna move to the left. It's gonna be fifty. 7.3 You know what I'm saying? So next step now Next step, so this is what I got, which is 7.3 Okay, now I go, okay And then after that So on the right, it's only what? It's only 3 So I'm going to take this minus that Okay, this minus that So we're going to say okay So now let's call this second equation So 100y Minus 1y. Y means 1y. 57.3 minus 0, 0,573. So here there's nothing means like 3, 3. Because it's repeating. You want to write in a good order of decimal. Okay? So now let's subtract. This going to be 99y equal to 57. Take a card with 57. 57.333 minus 0, 0,573. Okay, 56.76. So we get 56.76. So problem comes again. I mean, we want to change to uh, normal fraction, so you know we don't need like this. So I'll rather multiply by 100 on the left and right, so it becomes like normal, easy way. You know what I'm saying? So multiply here by 100, you know why? Because there's two decimal places. And multiply by this by 100, it means each one by 100. So this is going to be 9, 9, double, zero, y equal to, these two decimals are going to go, so it will be 56, 7, 6, divided by 9, 9, double, zero. So y equal to 5, 6, 7, 6, 9, 9, double, zero. So check a calculator and see if it's true. So 5, 6, 7, 6, divided by 9, 9, double, zero. 57, 3, 3, 3, 3, yeah, it's true. 50, 0, 5, 7, and then you see 3 is the We got it, man. Now we go for the next one. So question number 6. Easy, 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 easy. What you gonna do? Ooh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's go, man. Now let's go. So now we got uh, question number seven. So let, let's say, let's say T. It can be any letter equal to 0, 81. So we don't need this, man. So multiply by 10 because we want decimal place. So 10T equal to 8.1 decimal. So the next step, let's subtract. Let's subtract. Let's subtract, man. So tag this minus 1. Tag. Question 2 minus question 1. So 10t minus t equal to 10t is 8.1 and then this is going to be 0, 0,81. But there's nothing here. If it's 8.1 repeating, means there's another one here because it's repeating. Okay, so let's subtract now. This is going to give us 9t and this is going to give us the calculator quick 0.81. 0, oh, excuse me, 8.11 minus 0, 0,81. 7.3. So when you subtract this, this model is going to give us 7.3. So we have this equal to this. So 9t equal to 7.3. So divide by 9, divide by. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry. You cannot divide by 9. 
because you don't divide when it's in decimal. So you must get rid of this decimal. How many decimal? One. From the right. From the right. You must look from the right. Because if it's, let's say, 7.5, so you don't multiply by 10. Because you look two decimal from the right. So for this case, we multiply by 100. But for this case, one decimal from the right. So multiply by 10. But if it's like this, you multiply by 100. Because you count your decimal from the right. Two. So for this case, it's going to be 90. Because you multiply by 10 equals 7. Uh, 7. Multiply by 10, multiply by 10. You know why multiply by 10? Because there's a one decimal place from the right. So you count from the right. So multiply by 10 is going to be 90t. Multiply by 10 is going to be uh, 7, 3. Divide by 19, and then divide by 90. This and this cancel. So 7, 3, divide by 90. 7, 3, divide by 90. Hey, hey. You leave the way how it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm going to do here. Now. 7, 3, divide by 9. So all you can do, take your calculator and check. If what you did is correct, 73 divided by 90. Yeah, it's true. So you get 0 0.811111. It's true. Means 1 is repeating. If you put in the calculator, you're going to get 0 0.811111. So what that means this is like 0 0.81 repeating. Means 1 is repeating. You know what I'm saying? Now we go for 7. Question 7. Man, we almost finished, man. I think you're going to send this stuff. I don't know what I have to do all the way, man. If you know how to solve this question. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, cool. Now let's go to the next question. Next question, they say uh, 0 0.3. So let, let's say k equal to 0 comma 3, one decimal place. So if it's one decimal place, what we're gonna do, we just have to remove it. That's all. Multiply by 10. So 10. So 10 k equal to three is gonna come okay so now you see now there's no like number multiply and you can't stop there and say like oh i don't have a number on the right hand side you know what i'm saying means you gotta do something so this must move to the left to the left because it's just a repeating one repeating this is one decimal place so it's gonna be 10k equal to three come here 3.3 3. so next step minus 10k minus k 3.3 3 minus 0 0.3 remember this is a repeating it's a repeating, repeating. So when you subtract, this is going to give us 3. Uh, uh, 0 0.3, and this is going to be 9k. You know what I'm saying? Because 10k minus k equal to 9k. So the next step, finish. So 9k equal to 3. Divide by 9, divide by 9, this and this cancel. So k okay, equal to 1 over 3. Put in the calculator, it's going to give the same answer. Let's go to the last one. So second last. So second last, they give. So let uh, a, let's say, uh, no, a is not going to be good. Let's say Z. Z equal to 0, 0,909. 1, 2, 3. So if it's 1, 2, 3, what are we going to do? Multiply. There's no like move this to the left, move 1 to the left. No, you just move everything to the left. So how many of them? 3. So 1, 2, 3. Z equal to everything to the left. 909. Excuse me. Comma 909. But these are repeating. So we subtract. Let's go this second. Let's go this face. So take 1. Take 2. Equation minus one equation. So when you subtract it's going to be one part is z minus one z equal to nine zero nine point nine zero nine. These are repeating. Subtract by zero point nine zero nine for the decimal. So this will be nine 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 z equal to when you subtract these the same thing is going to be zero here on the left or the right. Okay, 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 okay. When you take this, subtract by this. It's going to be 909 divided by 999 divided by 999. Uh, uh, so Z equal to, you can write, uh, let's see, uh, can you, uh, by 3, I think by 3 you can split just to the uh, normal simplification. So you see, uh, uh, fraction 909 divided by 999. So 101, this is going to give us 101 over 111, 111. So you can try also, change this to decimal, it's true. <clears throat> it's gonna give us exactly, when you change this to decimal, take this plug in the calculator, say SD, change it decimal, it's gonna give us uh, 0 0.909. And then, 909, 909. So you see, this stuff is repeating. That's what I say, 0 0.909, these 901 is repeating. So I don't have to write all of them because they're repeating. You know what I'm saying? 
For the last one, uh, I'm not gonna do that one, man. That's your homework, man. If you're not gonna do, if you're not gonna get that one, you know what? Please, man. We see me on the way or something like, yo, you have me repeating this, must it me? No, you confused. It's not me. You confused me. It's not me because you didn't do that question. That's your homework, man. I'm not gonna talk. Shoot that. Ah, come on, man. Okay, it's okay. Let me do it for you. But I'm just a prank. I'm so just a prank. You should have done that. So let. It's a K, 0 0.4 decimal. So multiply by 10, because you, oh, we move to the left, 10 K, equals going to be 4.41 decimal. So now we're going to do subtract. 10 K minus, 9, uh, minus 1 K equals to 9 K, 4.4 minus that means this minus that. So it's going to be 4 minus 4 equals to 0, 4 minus 0 equals to 4, divided by 9, divided by 9. This and this constant, so K equals to 4 divided by 9. You can put that calculator 4 divided by 9, it's going to give you the same answer. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? If we put in the calculator, this is gonna give you k equal to uh, 0 0.4444. So that means like 0 0.4. Repeating. Don't write this in the exam, right? This is what you need. The fraction. We out. I'm out. Hey. 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 Oh. Whoa. I'm out.